So low-end markets are looking for GPUs which will run more modern APIs and, uh, and the more modern apps that depend on those APIs, but they're looking for them in a very low-cost package. So what they really want is a combination of advanced features, low power and low area to drive down the cost of their equipment. The cost sensitive markets that we're looking at are um, low end and mid range tablets and smartphones, um, uh, the full range of, uh, of automotive applications, uh, consumer equipment such as uh, UHD TVs, 4K screens and things like that. We're also looking at the, the high end of the Internet of Things market, so wearables and other equipment that depends on a screen. We need to deliver low cost and we need to deliver that cost with the features that are required by the, the silicon companies and their OEM customers. The, uh, the attributes that are required are the ability to run the latest apps and for that we need to have compatibility with the latest APIs but they also want to be able to drive down costs and they can do that in a number of different ways. One of the ways is to use the, the Vulkan API which reduces the cost of uh, CPU in the system. Uh, and still allowing uh, the users to get access to latest, very responsive apps. Current low-end GPU solutions only implement uh, OpenGL ES 2.0 level of API, which is a perfectly good API, but it uses an older programming model, and it means that uh, OEMs have to maintain two distinct uh, software development environments. Um, one for the low end and one for the high end of their range. By extending the more modern APIs into the low end of the range, it allows OEMs to unify their software development environment, and that's another source of reduction of costs. Vulkan is the latest API from the Kronos group, and it's a successor API to the more traditional APIs such as OpenGL and OpenGL ES. The strength of Vulkan is that it's a close to the metal API which removes a lot of the overhead which is inherent in the older versions. It gives the users control over the GPU assets and reduces the CPU loading which in turn reduces the power of the system and the requirement for a larger more expensive CPU. The Series 8 XE range of GPUs consists at the present time of two cores one of which delivers four pixels per clock and the other which delivers two pixels per clock. The higher spec part, four pixels per clock, is aimed at devices with a larger screen, such as a 4K TV or devices with multiple screens, as is normally found in some automotive entertainment systems. The device with the lower pixel count is more suitable for lower-end TVs, uh, low-end tablets, and some of the high end of the Internet of Things wearable uh, devices, which depend on a a moderately sized screen. What we've done with the feature set of the Series 8 XE is we've drawn in some of the features which were optional in the Series 7. So for instance we've added hardware virtualization as a standard feature as well as things like hardware tessellation which allows the GPU to handle the advanced APIs such as OpenGIS 3.2. Specifically for the UHD TV market, we've added 10-bit YUV, which allows uh, users in that market to address the, uh, the, the new color gamut which is required for UHD TV standard. Security in the GPU is particularly applicable to the automotive market. The Series 8 XE is designed so that it will fit within that market very well, and uh, especially at the high end and the 4 pixels per clock, where the infotainment and cluster electronics are being combined, it's necessary to keep those things separate, keep the applications separate, and provide a secure environment so that the, uh, so that the system can't be attacked from within the programmable portions of the GPU. By comparison with the previous generations of, of GPU, the 8XC does a couple of things. It reduces the area for a given pixel fill rate. 
So we're 45% smaller for the same user experience with this generation of GPUs. And the other thing we've done is we've improved the efficiency of the shader pipelines so that we get up to 100% better performance against benchmarks by comparison with other competitive GPUs.